In this video, we're looking at the options we have and setting up our system to begin using purchase return orders. To begin, I'll search for my purchases and payables. From here, we can select show more to see all the fields that we're talking about. In our general fast tab here, we have a number of options that we can toggle, which pertain to purchase return orders. The ones of importance are return shipment on credit memo, as you can see from the description, this specifies that a posted return shipment and a posted credit memo are automatically created when you post a credit memo. If this is not clear what this does, you can select learn more to bring up documentation that relates to this field. Next, we have copy comments from return orders to credit memos and copy comments from return orders to posted return shipments. Finally, we can toggle exact cost reversing mandatory. This means that to process the return order, the price on the lines will need to be the same price that we purchased the original item or service from our vendor. It also means that the transaction cannot be posted unless the applied to item entry field on the purchase order line specifies an entry. Next, there are some number series that we need to fill in here. We have our return order number series, our posted return shipment number series, our credit memo number series, and our posted credit memo number series. You may notice that these all have a P at the start. This is to indicate that they are for the purchase side, and these have all previously been set up. If you do not have a suitable number series set up for each of these fields, you can navigate to the number series and fill in the relevant data. You can find out how to set up our number series in a separate video.